Hey guys, it's uh, Mark from Northeast Bass Fishing and um, looking at some old baits uh, from my last video. I was looking at some older ones tonight and um, I thought I'd talk about um, some of my favorite um, uh, soft plastic jerk baits. Um, some are, you know, you can't get anymore, some you can. Um, but most of them, I think, based on what I'm looking at, I think you can get. So um, I'm just going to go through them and show you the ones that are my favorites. Um, but like there's a lot of diff you know a lot of the companies make a soft plastic jerk bait um, and probably the most popular one is you know the super fluke um, the zoom super fluke and um, that's probably the one that I throw the most and those are readily available I think I was looking on tackle warehouse I got like 63 different colors so I'm not gonna go through every color and I don't have 63 colors of flukes and I only have like probably six or eight that I use 95% of the time um, but for you guys who have never thrown a zoom fluke I like the uh, the, the super fluke it's a uh, you know there's a there's a junior size there's the big size which is more I think maybe more of a saltwater type bait but this is like a five and a quarter inch bait and the white pearl um, is the color that I use probably the most and uh, let me just I'll just show you how I rig these up uh, you know, you can use whatever hook you like to use. I personally like a 4 um, I'm going to call it EWG. I know my video last night, I watched, I, I checked it out, and I was like, e, I was saying EYG, whatever the heck that's supposed to be, but extra wide gap, not extra whatever gap. And when I get my EY, uh, EY, here I go again, EWG hooks, I always take them and I kind of just like bend them out just a little, just a little, so that that hook line is like above, like where that tie is. So we can kind of sit just a little bit above. I don't want that hook down. Um, and I just, I rig these up. And sometimes you'll get them, they'll have like that little bit of extra plastic on there, which I might kind of pull off or cut off. Just so I want to keep that as flat as possible. But I just put these on a four-aught hook. You can use a three-aught. Uh, to me, a five is too big. Um, but I've always, you know, thought it worked best with a four. And I like the red hooks, so I use those. If you don't want red, you don't have to. But I always go down just until I hit, you know, the curve on there, on the, um, uh, on the hook, and then I'll just run it through, and I like to run it through the plastic, if you guys can see that, before, you know, you have that cavity on the bottom. To me, it gives it a little more side-to-side, -side, better side-to-side -side action. Oops. So then it'll look like that, and you just run it through. You can tell these are new ones. These are very soft. When I first started to get flukes, the, the plastic was a lot of harder, harder plastic. And see, when I, once I have that down where I want it, my line is actually going to be inside there. It's not sticking out. And then I just kind of just go through that cavity on the bottom and just line it up, pull it through, and I'll just sit it on the top. Because when the fish comes out and grabs that, you don't need that to be buried. You, you know, you're throwing these on open water most of the time. I just let that hook sit like that and just twitch that across the top. And you should get a nice side-to-side -side action if you've got it, um, you know, rigged up correctly. That's how it looks for you guys who've never thrown a fluke before. And you try to keep it as straight as possible. And that's actually not too bad. It's pretty straight. But there's your zoom fluke right there. And that is probably the soft plastic jerk bait that I use the most. Um, as far as colors go, Zoom has, what I say, 60, I, I forget what it said on Tech Warehouse, 63 different colors. Uh, you don't need 63 colors unless you want to just collect flukes. Um, even me, who's a, a, a tackle junkie, I don't have 63 colors of flukes. Um, this is the fluke box that I throw on my boat. You know, if I know I'm throwing flukes, this is the box that's going in there. And here's the colors that, that work the best for me. Um, as I showed you, the pearl white, you can see the ones that have kind of been in the and you can see, this is an older one. The plastic's a little tougher. These are much softer. But, um, just a little bit, look about, a little, 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 let it shrunk up a little. But, you know, you can see the, the, the ones that have been in the boxes. They're not quite as white as they were, which is okay. I don't mind if there's little differences. Some of them are more white than others. So I don't mind if they're a little different. Um, just that pearl white is great. Um, if you guys went with that one, I also like the pearl with the chartreuse tail. You can just take your white ones and dye your tails, but might as well make it easy on yourselves. That pearl one with the chartreuse tail is great, um, you know, change up if your water's a little more murky. 
give those smallies or you know something uh, different to look at but you'll catch largies and smallies on the fluke um, another great color um, is there just a plain chartreuse uh, let's see another one that I like a lot is this uh, sexy shad color that they, they started making a few years ago that's the sexy shad from zoom great color um, I use this one a lot uh, let's see another great color is this this bubblegum color the pink one it's a great one to use um, I'm not sure which if this one is I'm not sure if this is the albino shad or what this one is but I think this might be the albino shad it's another good color I think that's what this one is that's another good one the rainbow trout color I like to throw Um, there's also a baby bass color. I don't have it in this box. If I have one, I'll show it to you. And just a regular, like, uh, you know, green pumpkin, watermelon candy type color. You know, if I want to switch it up. But that's it. I mean, if I have this box with me, you know, I don't need another 55 colors of flukes, you know, when I go bass fishing. That'll do. That'll, that'll do for the day. Um, I mean, I'll show you, like, here's some other fluke boxes some zoom fluke boxes you can see i'm not going to take all these out i don't even remember the names of some of these colors but you guys get the idea of how many different possibilities and if you've got something you like and it works on your lake you know use it um in this box probably my favorite one hmm, might be this i'm not even sure what this is called this might be a tennessee shad i don't remember um but if you look on the look on the tackle warehouse you'll see the colors um, and be able to match that up. Anything, anything that's got a little white on, I always like. So I mean, you can't go wrong with just plain old white. But that's another what twelve colors of flukes there. And I think I have another box with flukes. Let me check this one. Uh, he, nope, these are not flukes. Nope, not flukes. <laughs> So that's it for the fluke boxes. I mean, I have a bunch, you know, bunch here in package, packages, but I figured I'd show it to you in the box. Um, you know, that's a blue pearl hologram. So whenever you see these colors, you know, anything like this light like this, I like. So if you want to try it out, try something different, um, like this glimmer blue. I throw that every now and then, glimmer blue. Um, this, is, this is what they call disco violet. You know, any of these ones that are these, you know, Shad colors, white color ones. They're, they're, those are the ones I would I would recommend the most. Um, now that being uh, said, you know the zoom fluke is very popular. Another one I like to throw a lot is the bass assassin. And the bass assassin is a little different than the fluke. Let me see if I can find my box here. Um, and I'm not going to probably remember these colors too well. But bass assassin doesn't have as many colors. But what's nice about the bass assassin? Now here's just their chartreuse one. This one is just a single tail. This is a really nice jerk bait. You'll get good action out of it. So if you want to try a different kind, a different style, so to speak, um, the Bass Assassin is a real nice one. And the Zoom Fluke you guys can get, the Bass Assassin you guys can still get. Like here's a baby bass color Bass Assassin. And I would just rig this up too with the four out hook. Let's see, I'm gonna just pop this one off. The same way I do the other one. I'll just show it to you quick. This plastic's a little, not quite as soft as that Zoom uh, fluke is, but just go up, right to you, just to you, just till you get to that bend in the hook. Put it down through the plastic. Probably holding it too low, you probably can't even see what I'm doing. Get that, so like I said, I like that hook buried in the, in the plastic like that. And then just line it up on that cavity on the bottom, cinch it up and through, and there you go, you're ready to go. There's your bass assassin ready to fish. And I usually throw that like on eight, maybe 10 pound floral, you know, and just with a spinning reel, just, just twitch it and you'll see it'll get that nice, it's almost like walking the dog. You'll get that nice action. But Bass Assassin makes some nice colors. Now these ones I show you, they may still not have. I haven't gotten any new ones in a while, um, but you know, some cool looking. I mean, that's, that's a cool looking, <laughs> cool looking, you know, color fluke, or uh, fluke, sorry, Bass Assassin right there. Now, I don't know if they still make that color, but I don't even know what it's called. But, you know, 
Lots of neat stuff they have. So the Bass Assassin, what I would say, is probably my number two most thrown, um, you know, of the, of the soft plastic jerk baits. Um, let me see what else we got here. Now, um, some other ones that are, I looked online, they are discontinued. Um, this is an old company, which I guess doesn't exist anymore. This Jones Bait Company. Um, I just looked it online. I did see some on eBay, um, but they used to make a really nice fluke. And, you know, back in my tournament days in New Jersey, I used to throw flukes a lot in tournaments. And this one that they used to make with that pearl, with that blue dot, that, those, those blue, you know, flecks in there, this was, a, this was killer. And the difference with the Jones one is this one has like a triple tail. If you can kind of see that. It's like a little claw almost. This one's a triple tail. Fluke is two, and the assassin is just one. This one's kind of like a, is a triple tail. And, um, you know, I have one box that has these in here, and they don't make them anymore. Um, I haven't looked, I, I have one box of them, which is probably enough, because I don't throw them as much as I throw the flukes now. But this color here, you New Jersey guys, when I used to throw this color on Cranberry Lake, oh, they, 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 this was much better than just the plain old way. I don't know what it was with the blue in there, why it did so well. But, uh, you know, for you northern New Jersey guys, this, this, this color here on the Cranberry Lake was outstanding. Um, you know, and they had these, you know, chartreuse and pearls. Colors were always very good. This is that, that kind of chartreuse and, and pearl with, with the, um, the blue on there. Got a hockey game on. I, don't have, I know I have a bad habit of looking over at the TV every time it looks like something's happening in a hockey game. So uh, I'm going to try to ignore it. <laughs> um, in this box alone... I see, I think these are some old uh, Berkeley jerk shads here. I think these are Berkeleys. That smells like power bait. I think that's what these are. I never really thought these were that great. They were okay. The other ones were better. And this one, I can't remember who made these with those eyes on it. I thought I had more packs and I looked around for them and I couldn't find them. Um, they may not be made anymore anyway. I thought it was like Bobby Garland. I thought that was who it is, but I don't remember. And I just had this one in here and I picked them up somewhere over the years and I, I put them in the box. Um, this one here, I don't remember who made these, um, but there's so many different companies and now everybody, I mean, you know, Straight King makes them and I don't really have a lot of their soft plastic jerk baits, but you know, everybody makes one. So you just gotta really pick the one you like the best. Um, but that's, this is that Jones Bait Company. So that's a, that's a discontinued soft plastic jerk bait. And I, had a, I have a few extra packs laying around I don't remember where I got these the first time. Um, there used to be a tackle store up in Pennsylvania way back in the day called um, Angler's Paradise. And um, I, I might have got them there, or I might have got these at Wacky Worm. Um, so who knows, maybe Wacky Worm still got them on the shelf somewhere. But if you ever happen to see them around, it's a nice, so if somebody happens to have them in like an old, you know, a, a bin of the old stuff, and you see them sitting around, but you know, it's a nice soft plastic jerk thing. I mean, they were only three forty nine dollars back in the day, so it's not bad for what looks like a 10-pack. So I still have some of these laying around, and I'll throw them every now and then just, to, just for the fun of it. Um, let me see. I think that's it as far as old school. There's one other old school one. I wish I could remember the name of this. Um, I, they were called Fingerlings, and I don't know if it was Illusion or... Well, I, I looked for it online. I can't find it. They used to make soft plastic jerk, jerk baits. And they were painted. I think that's a triple tail too. But um, these used to work great. These painted, you know, fluke type baits. And this was a heavy plastic, so they actually lasted pretty long. But I think they were kind of, you know, they were here and then they were gone. Um, but you know, we're talking a long time ago. And I have a box that I made years ago of the ones I had. I can't recall the name. It might have been Illusion Fingerlings. I forget. Um, like that, I think, was like their smallmouth bass coast. They were really cool. And these work great. And they, they had the same action. It's a little stiffer plastic than I like with a fluke. Um, but with the paint job on there, I guess they had to make it a little. And they really, they did well. I used to fish, you know, talking about Jersey fishing. These were great um, back in the day on Merrill Creek Reservoir for you guys in North Jersey. These painted ones. I mean, a fluke in general there is very good in the spring, especially. Um, but like these painted ones there were outstanding, uh, really worked really, really well.
and I don't remember what the names of these are, um, but they were really cool. Um, so whoever made these back in the, you know, late 90s, early 2000s, did a really cool job on them. But, you know, there's so many bait companies that come and go. But I think it was an Illusion Fingerlings. I, I'm not sure. But so that's it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I looked online for them. I, I looked on eBay. I didn't see them anywhere. So, you know, if I ever keep searching and I find them and actually somebody has them, I'll, I'll let you guys know. Um, also, um, some uh, 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 a fluke you can get now that's new. And you guys know that I'm a big fan of, uh, of Tech Baits. Tech Baits has their own fluke. And um, I was throwing these last year and I finally got them from Eric. Ooh, that one tail's a little bent on me. Actually, I think that tail might be broken on that one. Let me show you a good one. The tail got bent on me. But it's definitely a Tech Baits <laughs> fluke because it smells like a pizza and there's salt falling all over my table. So thank you, Eric. But, um, What's nice about the Tech Baits um, flukes, um, you know, it's very soft plastic. Um, so I go, I usually go a little smaller hook. That head isn't as meaty. So I go a smaller hook. I might go a three on these. But what's nice about these is you can get custom colors. So, you know, you're not, you know, not that you're short on colors as far as zoom goes, that's for sure. But if you've got a bait fish in your lake, um, you know, that, you know, you want to match completely. Um, you know, Eric, Eric can probably do a pretty good job at matching it for you. Um, so these, I mean, these are some of the ones that I've gotten from him uh, over the year or so. And, uh, you know, they have that beautiful fluke action, that side-to-side -side action. And so here's where you can almost have your, you know, you can have your, you know, your homemade flukes um, with whatever color scheme you want, whatever um, scent you want. I mean, really nice looking baits. And these are, you know, these you can get. So it's a little smaller. So I do go down to the three out for these. Because the first time I got them, I tried the four out, and I thought it was too big. So I said, I got to use the three, -er, you know. And as far as flukes go, if I've got these two colors, I can go fish anywhere. I can go fish anywhere. Um, I love the I love the bubble gum or the pink, whatever you want to call it. I mean, that right there is is a killer fluke. And that's the Tech Baits fluke. And, you know, good old pearl. As long as you got the pearl, as long as you got the pearl and the pink, um, I have to have Eric make me some chartreuse ones, and they'll be ready to go. Uh, then I'll have the ones I, all the ones I need. Um, so you can still get the Zoom flukes. You can still get a Bass Assassin. Tech Baits makes them. You can get them. Um, the other ones are kind of, I would say they're probably, even though I do see, I um, actually got it up now. I'm looking at one of the... Um, the Joneses ones on eBay. So if you've really, you know, searched and searched the internet, you might find them somewhere, or you might see them, like I say, at an old tackle shop somewhere hanging on the shelf. Um, that, I believe, is all the fluke-style baits I have. Now, another soft plastic um, uh, jerk bait that I, I love, I just have gotten away from it as the years have gone by, mm -hmm. but it was probably the first one I ever threw, and a lot of you guys probably too, and that's the, the classic um, bait that we all love, the Sluggo. And the Sluggo has more, it doesn't have so much of that side-to-side -side action. It has more of a dying, to me, at least in my opinion, action. Um, you'll get that, that movement, but then it kind of has that dying, like it's kind of a dying bait fish. But before I ever threw a, flu a Zoom Fluke, I threw a Sluggo. And um, it's one of those things where I, I, I've always caught fish with them. I love them, and I don't remember the last time I threw one because I threw the I throw the uh, I throw the fluke so much and the smaller jerk baits, uh, uh, soft plastic jerk baits that I don't throw the the sluggos anymore. But I will show you now if you if you're gonna go try a sluggo. I think these are the I think those are the seven inchers. Let me see, because I do have some in some packs here. Now there's a six inch sluggo. And red shad. Um, there's a pink one. You see my colors are kind of the same for everything. Um, I believe that is a six inch. I don't know. The, the uh, pack, the, the, the uh, thing is rubbed off on it. That's a six inch and that's a black ice they call that one. So I'll, I'll rig one up for you in a sec. Um, albino shad, six inch. Let me, let me, I'm going to compare. Maybe these are six inch and I'm thinking they're seven. But for you guys who have never thrown a sluggo before, 
Let me see. These are the same. Yeah, exactly the same. So these are these are all six inch in this box. I wasn't sure if they were six or seven. But there's your sluggo. It's a piece of plastic. What you can use now, you could use that EYG hook. EYG. Why do I keep saying EYG? EWG. I gotta get that out of my head. Um, Lunker City makes a text poser hook, which is made just for a sluggo. Now, I'll rig them up both ways. I don't really think it matters, but their hook is good. Um, I have no complaints with their hook. If you want a red hook, I don't think they would make red hooks now. I don't even know. But let's see. Oh, I just somebody just scored a goal. The Minnesota Wild just scored. <laughs> if any Minnesota Wild fans out there, I'm going to try with this this one, and I'll do it with the text poser hook. Just go in. Up and out. Turn it around. Get right to the center there. Keep these straight when you when you rig these up. I know my hands are probably going to block. You're not going to see this that great, but there you go. And what's nice about the uh, that is totally crooked. Let me straighten that out a little bit. Oh, that's better. Now, what's nice around the top of the of the sluggo is kind of cupped a little. So your hook, you don't have to bury it in the plastic. When I throw these soft plastic jerk baits, <coughs> excuse me, I hate to bury, I don't want to bury the hook because of the way they hit this. I want that hook exposed and I want them the minute they get it in their mouth um, uh, to get hooked, you know, because they will flash on these a lot and not get them all the time. But there's your, you know, your slogan. That's with a four odd. You could go five odd on these because it's a bigger bait, it's a six inch bait. Now that text poser hook, let me pop this out. Um, I don't know the size of these. I don't know if that's a three or a four, but you can see the shape of that, how, how that makes it nice and easy to rig this bait. So, you know, if you go to, you know, if you're buying from, uh, you know, whoever you're getting these from, your tackle warehouses or your online stuff, even though I would suggest go to your local tackle shop and support them and get, you know, if you want to try a sluggo, if you've never thrown it before, grab some of the, um, they probably will have the text poser hooks right there on the shelf next to them. But the way this sits on the bait makes it a really a nice, nice setup. And this will go right to where that joint is. Ooh, let me see, let me get that lined up here. Oop, I don't stab my finger. Oh, that's pretty good. That's just kind of too bad for my... Now, that doesn't have as big a gap as a EWG, <laughs> but it's plenty. It's plenty, and you could even you could even bend that one up a little, but you can see how that sluggo sits on there with that text poser hook. And I have some different sizes of them. I don't remember if these are fours or threes or or fives for even that matter. Um, but depending on the size of the uh, sluggo you get, the size of the size of the hook you went up. I mean that will, and that'll have a nice action. And it has more of a dying action. It'll kind of you know it doesn't have the same action as a fluke. But it's definitely a very, very, very good fish catcher. And that's just a pearl white. I don't remember the names of these colors. I mean, I can show you the ones that I have in packs still. Like, uh, that's a six inch gold pepper shiner. Mm. And good old black. Now, that might be a five inch. That's a four and a half inch. So that's just in black. I'll show you what the four and a half inch size looks. They have a bunch of different sizes. But there you go. If you want a smaller one. That's the sluggo in black, just a four and a half inch size. I would go even smaller hook then. Two lot maybe. You know, there you go. So that was probably the soft plastic, the first soft plastic jerk bait I ever threw was a sluggo. And, you know, sitting here talking about them, I, I want to throw them again because I haven't, you know, in so many years. But they work. They definitely work. So if you're looking for an option to your flukes, the sluggo is a great option because it's a different action. It's a different action. To me, I would say, in my opinion, the zoom, the, the fluke is a more aggressive action than the, than, than the sluggo. The sluggo is a more, a more is a slower action. But you got some six inch, some four and a half inch. Um, I, th I I don't know all the different sizes they have. You have to look on their site, but you can get you can get these. Um, the only other thing I wanted to show you guys quick. I'm already at 25 minutes here almost. Um, of soft plastic jerk baits, one of the early, early ones I threw was the old 
Gambler Floating Worm, which is really the same concept. And I already rigged one up and I did it on that red hook. Um, you might want to use a smaller hook. Um, I haven't thrown these in a while. I'm not sure that Gambler still makes them. Actually, I'm on Tech Aware here, so I'll, I'll check for you guys quick. But the Floating Worm is the same, it's the same idea. It's the same idea. If I can get my computer to work. Let's see if Gambler still makes a floating worm. Of course, everything's going to lock up when I want to do this. Shop by brand. Now, I'm not telling you guys go and tackle warehouse. <laughs> I know it can, get, it can get crazy sometimes when you get on there. I'm just checking to see if Gambler still makes a floating worm. But it's the same concept. You'll get that nice action. Um, it's almost like a dying bait action. And I, ha I mean, I haven't thrown a... I can't remember the last time I threw a floating worm. Um, but I had a few, you know, on the shelf there. And when I saw the flukes and the other stuff, I said, oh, let me show. You know, it's just a worm. Um, I was watching, I, I talk about Randy Blockett's videos a lot. He, I saw him talking about it, and he just uses a zoom trick worm. Um, but Gambler, you know, here's a pearl white one they had. Um, I don't know if this one has a what color. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure what these colors are. Um, but let's see what the Gambler. I could just... Gambler Lures. Um, this is almost like a, like a bumblebee looking color. I don't know if they have a name for it. Black and chartreuse, which was, was one of my favorite ones. This is a newer pack. So you know what? There's no color on there. This is the same, that same color in a newer pack. So maybe they do still make them. Um, I haven't bought any in a long time, but let's see. Oh, is that it right there? Yeah. Gambler floating worm, seven inch of five colors. So, you know, the fact that it's five colors, maybe it's not as popular as it used to be. Um, these were some other floating worm, you know, that I had. I don't know who the companies are. They were just in packs. Um, just some pearl ones from different companies over the years. Um, but it's the same, it's the same idea. You know, you just, you know, experiment with hook size, with hook gap, um, that you like. I always like that EWG hook. So, um, I got it right for once. Yeah, on the, um, on Tackle Warehouse. Now, Gambler on their own site may have more. Um, 12 pack, uh, 7 inch. For four twenty nine, they've got um, bubble gum color, uh, bubble <clears throat> bubble gum yellow, bumblebee, which is probably this. This is probably bumblebee. Um, a lemon lime, I would imagine a pearl then. Yep, and a white, which is a. I don't see this one anymore. This must be an old discontinued color, whatever they used to call it. But um, I haven't researched the floating worm that much, so they may be out there um, in other places. Um, but I think that's it, everybody, for the you know soft plastic jerkbait-type baits. Um, um, like I said, um, I would say probably the Zoom Fluke is my favorite um, just because I have the most experience with it. I've been throwing that for years. I, uh, I, When I joined my first bass club back in the 90s, the Hog Wild Bassmasters, everybody in that club threw a Zoom Fluke, and I didn't even know what it was. So, you know, um, it's another example that if you join bas a bass club, if you really want to learn how to fish, um, that was why I joined it, and you le you'll learn a lot because... You know, you, when you learn what 15 or 20 other guys are doing, and you fish with a bunch of different people, that's how you learn. That's how you learn. And that's how I learned to throw the fluke, and I felt, you know, and I saw, you know, with my own eyes how well it worked for those guys. Um, and so I adopted it into my my fishing, and I still use it now, you know, 30 years later. I'm still throwing a fluke. I always have a fluke tied on when the, when the conditions are right. Um, for me, it's kind of when that water is above, I don't know, mid-50s. I don't think it's a good cold water. I'd rather throw a hard jerk bait then. Um, but you'll see as the season progresses how they'll switch to wanting maybe that soft jerk bait more than the hard jerk bait. Um, you know, wherever you live in the country, it's, it's going to depend. Um, but um, um, I always, in the summertime especially, have a fluke tied on. Uh, you know, it's almost like at times it's almost like a top water bait because it comes across the top of the surface um, and you get some hellacious, uh, you know, hits on those. Um, so, um, if you guys have not tried a fluke, I recommend you, you know, you give it a shot. It's a great bait. It's easy to throw. Um, just get yourself a spinning rod, you know, a, a six and a half, seven foot. I always like a seven footer for my jerk baits. Medium action, um, eight pound fluoro, um, and, and, and have fun. Um, a, a, a buddy of mine used to throw a double <laughs> fluke rig and kill him on it. <laughs> kill him on it. Um, I didn't have the patience to tie it, so I never did it. I would just throw the single fluke. Um, 
but there's a lot of a, a lot of you know a lot of ways to do this and uh, it's really it's one of my favorite techniques to, and um, and you know if you haven't tried it you know I recommend you give it a shot um, you can get zoom flukes out there you can get tech bait flukes out there you can get bass assassins out there you can still get gambler floating worms you can get um, <clears throat> sluggos I showed you a few of the different styles that might be uh, that are probably are discontinued because they're you know 20 or 30 years old um, but you know you can still get you know go down to your local tackle shop you know Walmart has them you can get a bag of flukes and get the fluke get the uh, the super fluke um, the four the small fluke is um, you know I don't throw that as a as a jerk bait I will drop shot that or you can throw it as a Tamiki rig <clears throat> that smaller one to me is not as it's not as good as a as the jerk bait as this as the five and a half inch sizes so make sure you get the super fluke and that's it so I hope you guys enjoyed that um, I'm, uh, I've kind of gotten in this you know after you know getting an, a lot of nice responses on that um, showing you guys those culprit water beetles uh, last night I said well let me go through some other old baits that I know are discontinued and all of a sudden I said well you know there's no sense of talking about the fluke bit type baits you can't get anymore might as well talk about all the different kind of soft plastics so I just put it together and threw everything on the desk here and said and went and figured I'd show it to you guys um, so that's it for now hope you guys enjoyed it I'm gonna look through the pile and see what other old stuff I can find and uh, you know maybe I'll just do a video each day and and keep this rolling it seems like you guys like it all right so that's it for now um, I'll see you guys soon on YouTube mark out